Hello, we are Group Twenty Five. Our members are Wang Youxian, Fu Zihao, Yu Haojun, Li Rendong. The field trip discussion topic today will be regarding environmental and business sensitivity corner over the tourist attraction Botanic Garden, just like what were described in the written description. The Singapore Botanic Garden is a heritage tourist attraction with the free of charge for spreading tourism travel all over the forest and wetland. With education sign and description all over the place to help tourism understand more about nature and the importance of preservation of the natural resource. At the same time, problem regarding the opening of the such place to the public would have been discussed. How would it promote sensibility if we post such natural resource at risk of being violated or damaged by human activity? As more tourists attract about the natural resource. Are being set up. How would the business be sustainable in operation running such tourist attraction? We will discuss and bring you through some interesting signs about the issue above. Next, welcome Fu Zihao.、Uh, thank you. I will be in exploring more into the issues of we brought up visiting Botanic Garden. Firstly, at, at a glance, despite, despite the fact that Botanic Gardens will to be open to Public free of charge, in which we expect littering be to be hardly under control. There will be hardly any acts of littering seen. This might be due to the very strict law enforcement in Singapore, which involves a plenty of points if any of per person will to smoke or litter in public or restricted area. For instance, first time offenders littering、uh, small items like cigarettes, perhaps. Could be funded three hundred dollars. However, as due to the impact of COVID-19, the the number of tourism could be limited in botanic gardens, causing the probability of people offering the environment control rules less likely. Thus, as COVID-19 safety measure to be lifted time by time, numbers of tourism visiting botanic garden could be increasing largely, causing more littering to the. To be happening and increase the cost of rules enforcement, the balance of such costs and the damage to the natural resort could be an ongoing problem faced by the botanic gardens. Thanks, next, please hey, welcome to the next panel. Okay, thank you, Zhu Hao. Other than other than the issue mostly in the book, we have also discussed the problem around the sustainability of the business of operation operating such. Tourist, uh, tourist、uh, attraction uh, with the、uh, nation with the natural resource, just like what we mentioned, the the operation of such tourist uh, attra attractions uh, could always lead to the、uh, destruction to the natural resource. Its operation, ah,、uh, how to prevent、uh, the business for falling due the uh, sp uh falling due to Uh, <clears throat> demand demanded the、uh, custom both bought by the for a、uh, tourist、uh, could be a serious call a challenge for them.、Uh, next, welcome, Rendo. Okay, thanks, Hao Jun. Well, as we list out the problem above, what can organizations or business do the negate or even provide such loose? In other case, in the other case, what can the Nate Garden or Strawberries do? Special, special for the for the Nate Garden, we observe that it is free of charge for any tutorials in Singapore. In order to keep the rules for tutorials to one less or damage the environment large, the Nate Garden could charge tutorials while upgrading the. Internal providing exper experience for the tutorials to not only preserve the national reserve better,、uh, but also but also generate more revenues for the nature gardens. Observe, botanic garden is a very common type of tourism. Attraction which promotes the importance of preservation of the environment. So, what is it that draws the incentives of opening 
operating such business, and what it is that made them seem to be sustainable despite all the potential issues we list above. Well, it could possible be that such tourist attractions suspend sustainability problems could drive the organizations to the spend more efforts on keeping the natural heritage protected and well preserved for the visitors to visit. This acts as a strong commercial incentive for business to follow through and it ensures both economic and ecological sustainability for the natural results. Thank you. That's all our presentation. Thanks for listening.